and good evening to everybody. Hope you're doing well. Hope everybody is having a lovely evening. So, just getting the last few things finalized before we get going. We'll let the counter run down just to make sure that everything on my side is ready for everybody. Okay, I think everything is about as good as it is going to be, so I'm going to switch over to the main game, and then we're just going to say a few thank yous, and then we'll take it from there. Okay, so welcome everybody to the stream. I hope you're all having a lovely day and or night, depending on where you're from. And I want to start off by just saying thank you. So, as you can see, we have reached the 10 followers goal. Now, I know it doesn't sound like a lot, it probably isn't a lot for a lot of you, but... For me, that's quite nice. I've been streaming for, what, 19 days? Or I think 20 days, maybe? I'll have to just double check. And I'm on 10 followers. That means it's a follower every two days. So that's not a bad start. So I'm really, really happy with how things have progressed so far. So I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you to everybody who has supported. Thank you to everybody that has followed. If we can just please help spread the word. Get the channel out there. Grab some friends, grab some people that you know, share on social media. I really would appreciate it. That would mean a lot to me. But from the bottom of my heart, thank you to everybody that has supported me thus far. And hopefully this is just the start of something that's going to get big. Hopefully. That's the goal. Uh, touch base on a few admin things. So you will see on my Twitch page, I have made a couple of changes. I'm trying to do everything I can to improve as much as I possibly can. So you'll see that the Twitch page has not been updated. The about section has been formalized quite a bit more put quite a bit of time and effort into that last night so i'm trying to make things better good evening maestro hope you're doing well um so thank you again to all the uh, for helping me reach the first goal of 10 followers now it's on to the next goal and so on and so forth and then yeah so with that out of the way we'll do the normal formalities and say welcome to the stream um all of my past live streams will be posted onto my YouTube channel. So by all means, go and subscribe and turn your notifications over there. And follow me here on Twitch. Help spread the word. Help get the word out there. Let's help grow this channel a bit. I really would appreciate it. Oh, and a recap. So we are trying to create our own POE build with very limited knowledge, but with some knowledge to the point where I think I'm capable of it, but we're trying to put that to the test. So I also try to use a skill that is not currently meta. It's a bit more vague and I haven't seen a lot of people actually run it. While there probably are builds out there for it, I am not following one at all. I'm trying to use my own knowledge with the assistance of individuals such as Maestro. Um, it's been going well. I made some executive decisions last night and they have been working for me. Single target damage still kind of sucks. But the clearing speed and, and mob kills is going really, really well. So let's have a look over here. So the main thing that I did was is this. So my Cobra Lash is still the main skill that I'm using. However, I've now got Vile Toxin support along with greater mo uh, multiple projectile support, along with DK. 
and we have made quite a progress up the tree into the double curses so basically i hit q i hit right click curse the hell out of the enemies and then just let rip and it's been working really well so let's see how it goes definitely throws out more let's see how well this carries Oh. Okay, that's not what we wanted. I hope that I haven't jinxed myself and that the damage is now going to start falling off massively. I just need to maybe think about replacing that movement skill with something else because I can't actually dash out of it like I can if I'm using something else. Chain or fork would be better than GMP. Maybe. I'm just enjoying the fact that this clears really well. The more projectiles there are, the more they bounce, the more life still I get, and the faster they clear. But I mean, we can always try it. I've just been really liking the um, the multiple projectiles that do wonders for actually clearing the shit out. Actually, I'm being stupid. Did I actually go to the mud plates? I'm supposed to go to Lion Eyes. I saw it Lion Eyes uh, title. You see, I saw chain as an option, but I didn't take it.
Why is this pay? Grayed out again. It wasn't grayed out last night. So I don't know if that was just a glitch last night. The spay is supposed to be grayed out, right? I'm not supposed to be able to use it because it's linked to um, Bane, right? Yeah, for some reason last night, even though they were linked like they are now, for some reason last night, if you go recap last night's stream, for some stupid reason, it it just wouldn't read that it was connected to Bane. And I had to cast them individually. Oh, one of the other upgrades that I did uh, is here in the chest piece. So, I can't link it. I would like to link it, but I don't. I spent quite a bit already trying to link them. But, so now my um, Despair and my Bane has got Hexbloom, which transfers through. Didn't you have to level up Bane first? No. It was working perfectly fine before. Then I put on a new chest piece. All my stats actually went up. And for some reason, it just didn't want to link. And then, like today, now I've started, and it's perfectly fine again. So, don't know if that was just a glitch or something, but... So, with my Bane and Despair, I've now got Hexbloom. Hexbloom is nice because it spreads it to other enemies, which I am enjoying. And then, obviously, increased area of effect. And then I've got Clarity and Sniper's Mark. And then Whirling Blades and Void Manipulation on that. And I finally got to the point where I could use this, uh, this Claw that's got the 59 to 84 Chaos damage. Then, on my Helmet... I have got obviously the Cobra Lash with Vile Toxins, Greater Multiple Projectile Support and DK Support. And then on this one I have got the Multi Strike along with Void Manipulation and Viper Strike. On my gloves is the Herald of Agony, Void Sphere and Void Manipulation. The Void Sphere works nice if there are quite a couple of enemies because it kind of keeps them away and slows them down. And the nice thing is the Void Spear does uh, Chaos Damage as well. Sometimes it helps me keep a dangerous enemy at low. I put Nightblade and Void Manipulation with Cobra Lash. Nightblade and Void Manipulation. Supporting 30 more damage with Poison. I can try and replace Vile Toxin with Nightblade and Void Manipulation. When I get my next waypoint, I'll go have a look at Nightblade. 
I just don't want to lose the multiple projectile per support. And the reason, that the logic that I apply to it is as follows. So, my Cobra Lash, yes, on its foundation, you see the DPS dropped massively. However, all of my damage that I am doing is not focused on physical anything. So the reason why I put create the multiple projectile is it says it's got 32% less projectile damage. Granted, but my damage is not coming from the projectiles. My damage is coming from the chaos and poison that it's doing. So while this on its basis is really, because I mean, there it says I'm doing 11 to 36 physical damage on Cobra Lash, but it's 163 to 498 chaos damage. I gain life for each enemy hit. And with this being so many projectiles, I gain quite a bit of life from that. Uh, the fire damage and the cold damage is irrelevant. And then 40% chance to poison on hit. The gale damage is still the hit application. So how do I ensure that I can maintain the, the increased projectiles without losing the physical damage? Is there a gem for that? Is there a skill for that? Is there an ascendancy that I can follow for that? Just need a moment to catch my breath. Fork has much lesser drawback. Do I have access to Fork yet? Uh, level 31 requirement, okay. Serious danger, I one there, one there. Let's go for. Nope, wrong weapon. Come on, why can't I get this this way? Oh, fuck it. I mean, come on, you cannot deny that that feels good. Like, you can't deny that that clearing was decent. So, clearing kind of good, everything else kind of sucks. Oh, well, we can always have a look. That's the point of this. Try out the weird shit, see if it works. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't.
Where would I get Fork from? Is Fork uh, Clarissa or is Fork uh, the Lady and the Gentleman? Increased Chaos Damage, Skill Effect Duration. Nice. So, I mean, now I'm over a thousand with this, with the benefit of the multiple. I'm probably going to die on this. That was stupid. I still did so. I dodged that. Oh, that's true. I thought I'm past that point already. The soil wants for your blood no more. And that's all I can do right now, so I'll just rock that for now. I forgot that I've actually got access to Lily now. Just gonna grab the waypoint. And then we'll go back to Lily. And see what Fork does. Uh, Lily. Like, I'm no expert, but Lily's supposed to be standing here, right? <laughs> Where'd Lily go? Uh, um, I'll just take that for now. Take that. While you be skulking about finding pies, wait for no man. You've killed them. Farewell. Oh, there. I thought you were standing by the boat. Okay, so we want walk. Walk support. You know, the skills making the patrols fork and get two projectiles the first time they hit the enemy and don't pierce it. Let's try it, see how it works. So we'll switch that out for greater more. So damage has gone up by 200. Um. Do I want anything here? You see, yeah, I can even say that 40% of my physical damage is converted to chaos damage. So that means I'm going to get even more chaos damage. Recover 1% life. Okay, I don't think there's anything in there that I really want. And I need to figure out what the next point of action is going to be. Do I want to increase my cost speed on my curses? Increase my curse duration? Or do I want to realistically start moving towards something else? I'm not sure. But let's first go test this out and see how this does. So now... Okay, so it only throws one. Hopefully it... That does work. Supported skills. I can watch a fork into two projectiles the first time they hit an enemy and don't pierce it. Projectiles from supported skills. Fork.
That doesn't look bad. Anything with this is I actually have to be accurate and make sure I actually hit things. Where with the uh, multiple projectile support, I didn't have to really aim. It's just kind of like go in that direction and kill everything that comes your way. But I do get it. The damage loss is just too much. Here's a good follow-up question. Does this skill fork support? Now you see, that's the foundation of what it is. It only forks into two projectiles the first time I did. So it's not like it's something that if I upgrade it or improve the quality of the gem, that it's going to change to three or four potentially. That's its basis. It will only fork. Half of those shots missed. The damage was better, just the damage will go up as you level it. Yeah. I don't mind it, but I'm gonna have to test it if there's like a big group. That's not bad. Increased mana recovery, recovers 15% of mana recovered from life when used, grants immunity to ignite for 8 seconds, and removes all burning. Yep, that's just a blatant upgrade. Hold up. Hold up. I just noticed something. I need a single target so I can test this. I think there's a possibility that when it forks, it only forks backwards. You see, you see what I mean? And I don't know why that's happening. I don't know if there's just too much of a level difference between them. Because Bane is level 10 and Despair is level 11. And that's what was happening last night. I had to cast both of them to get the full buff from it.
only applies cursors with the same or lower level requirement. So that's what I suspected. It has a level requirement. Despair and Bane. Okay, so basically what you're saying is I need to lock Despair for a bit, let Bane get about two or three levels ahead of Despair, and then only start leveling um, Despair along with Bane. Alright, so keep an eye out for that. There's one other thing I want to test. It's one of the things you also mentioned because I'm not sure if I like this. Yeah. Okay. So that's the issue. So my despair I'm going to hold off on. Uh, only applies curses with the same level requirement as itself. Same level or lower. Okay, so I'm going to hold off on leveling up Despair for a while. I'm going to get Bane to maybe get two levels ahead of Despair. And then it should be able to stay ahead of itself. I think I need to be doing that. Okay. Good fighting. Uh, what is it called? Knight. Nightblade. Supporter skills grant elusive on critical strike. Supporter skills have a 0.7 critical strike chance. Oh, and so I sat and pondered a lot last night, and I ended up going with this ascendancy. So I know that eventually we are going to switch over from um, for the respec into crit, I guess. Yeah, and that's why I went with ambush and, ass and assassinate. Oh, well, that's why I went with um, I can't remember what this thing's name is. I think it was Assassin or whatever. But I went with this Ascendancy because I know eventually we are going to switch the um, build over from Chaos Damage through to uh, Crit Damage. And then this will become more of a important. Nice. Okay, so at least I made the right decision there. I'm just trying to think in the because I'm I mean I see a lot of nodes around here. For example, increased critical strike chance. Um yeah, some more damage over time. I think if we go this way, yeah, there's critical strike chance over there, critical strike multiply and strike chance. So the nodes that I need to get to to get the critical strike is not that far away. It's just for now I don't know what the next steps are going to be. So I sat last night and I actually spent quite a bit of time looking at to getting to this point. But after this point, I'm not sure. I think what I did was I typed in chaos. And found that most of the points were up here. I'm not seeing too many chaos things elsewhere around me. That's chaos with a bow. We've got damage over time down here. And then the waste thing is damage over time and chaos resistance, which is me. Chaos resistance, chaos resistance avoid being poisoned. And then chaos resistance chance of being poisoned and avoid bleeding. That's minions, which I'm not doing. Enemies poisoned by you have a f minus five to chaos resistance. Spell skills give plus twelve damage over time multiplier for poison. Is Cobra Lash a... No, it's an attack. It's not a spell. Okay, so that's going to be pointless for me. So I don't actually know where to go next with my... Um, I'm just going to put this away for a second. I don't actually know where to go next with my levels. Uh, 
you should start investing in some defense. True. Now, when you refer to defense, what kind of defense are we looking for? Are we looking for, like, spell suppression? Are we looking for evasion? Are we looking for just general, like, defense? Because I highly doubt that that is a... <laughs> or is it just we basically looking for health? Exactly those two. So spell suppression and evasion and spell suppression. Okay, so spell suppression, actually. I think I spelled that right. Okay. So we have got quite a few up down here. We've got some over here. 8% chance to suppress spells. That is a 1, 2, 3, and then we've got 8, 16, 24% chance to suppress spell damage over there. And that is 3 nodes away. And then the master on that. Wind Dancer. There is... Wind Dancer. 20% less attack damage if blah, 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 sorry 20% less attack damage taken if you haven't been hit by an attack recently 10% chance to evade yeah you see that's under the that's under the expectation that I'm not going to get hit because the moment the moment I get hit all of those go out the window okay but it's definitely a direction we can work towards So we can possibly come down this way. Oh, the last one. 20% uh, more attack damage taken if you... Uh, attack damage taken if you have... The last one applies to after you get hit. 20% more attack damage taken if you have been hit by an attack recently. That doesn't sound good. That sounds like I'm going to get my shit handed to me if I actually get hit because I'm going to be taking 20 more percent damage. Yeah, that shit's going to fuck me up. <laughs> okay, so let's say... Uh Suppression. Where is the biggest nodes for that? Revenge of the Hunted is good. Now where the fuck is that on the tree? Are oh, they? Increased evasion rating, maximum life, and 10% chance to suppress spell damage. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so that's there. All of this is evasion rating and maximum life, evasion rating and maximum life. Yes, yes, yes. 10% increased evasion rating, maximum energy shield. That might actually not be a bad route to go through. Go down this way. Go around the outside. 10% increased evasion, energy shield, and 10% chance to spray spell damage while in full energy shield. Yeah. So take all of these around here, then move down and take all of these around here. Yeah, and then go across to down here, life gain on hit. You'd go around left. Strength node. Oh, so you want to come down here and then into there. You'd skip all of these. You'd go to the prowess. So you'd go down from dexterity, dexterity to here, grab prowess.
On the left. Oh, you'd go down this way. So you'd go strength node, dexterity, dexterity, and then down into evasion. Yeah, one, two, three into there. One, two, three, and then fourth into the ones. Okay. Yeah, let's try that out then. Let's go that way around. I mean, if we want to, we can always grab the chaos damage over time, multiply over year as well. Because that's what, 5, 10, that's 20% increased damage over time. We want to head down that way eventually to get charisma. Mana reservation, efficient of skill, and 6% increased effect of non curse auras from your skill. Okay. So go down here, split over here, go through down into dexterity, get the evasion life, get all of these. Or at least just go up to the Revenge of the Hunted. Go down and grab Charisma, and then see where we go from there. Okay, so we've got a plan. So I'm not going to be seeing really increases in damage, this is more so for survivability. And I need to remember not to level my despair at the moment. Okay, however, like I am going to be honest, I am not enjoying this fork. Maybe I just got used to having all of the projectiles in the world available to me. This is definitely slowing me down quite a bit, but... Definitely a boost in damage. Oh shit, I actually forgot. I actually made a big boo boo. 63, 52, 48. I made a big mistake and forgot that after fighting Hira the first time. I lost 30% damage to everything. is nice but I'm just losing too much I'll have to see at some point if the damage starts falling off too much if it's worth it or not but right now I'm not enjoying fork
that way. And we're coming in down. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, it's that ghost shit. Okay, so Bane can level up. Okay, so Bane's good. Um, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Oh fuck, did I actually end up going the wrong way? Yep, I ended up going the wrong way. I'm also pretty sure you don't go for ambush and assassin for ascendancy. You see, I wasn't 100% sure on that. I was just thinking more so as to when we get to the point where we want to do the switch to critical, that we would be the best option. Now, can we respec that? Like, can we redo the ascendancies to change that? Or is that a permanent thing? Because, I mean, I've only done the first ascendancy trial, so I can always easily go back and redo it. You don't want opportunistic. Uh, Hexbloom is fine. Refund them for four refund points above. Okay. Now, am I in the right ascendancy tree at least, or would I have to choose a different ascendancy tree? That's not tricks there, but it depends on what you want to do. See, that's also going to be difficult because I don't know if this build is going to be able to carry me all the way through to the end, especially how hard things start hitting later on, or if the critical build is going to be the best route to go. I think based on the rationale that we applied last time, it would only make sense that the best route to go would be the critical because of the instant damage of a, the delayed damage. It's taking too much to try and kill him. Uh, where am I supposed to go? Oh, I missed the center. I 
I think so as well. So I think it's we're going to stick with Assassin for crits and Trickster for a bit more tankiness. So I think we're going to deal with crit. We're going to stick with this one. Just simply because... Um, I'm having a look around in different builds. It seems like a 1920 Gobelash builds are crit. This is one of my biggest issues that I'm having right now. The single target damage is shit. Like, the single target damage is horrendous. You should have seen the Kitava fight. Like, you should actually go back and watch yesterday's stream, especially dealing with Kitava. It was horrendous. I don't need to do much with this phase with her because I'm too weak. Like it's bad. Like it's really, really bad. Most builds are also dead eyes, yeah. Oh my god, I can't move. And this is one of the biggest things I'm hating about it. Bossing, non-existent. And I can't get in there to use Viper Lash at all. Ugh, not Viper Lash, uh, Viper, whatever the fuck this thing is. Viper Strike. It's just not worth it. I can't get in there. I get touched and then it's basically done for. And so it begins. I'm gonna have to find some way, some other way to get that single target damage because right now it ain't working. But I don't know what to do for single target. Most bulls are also dead eyes. Who'd have fought those three? Strike over for now. The road to the Frisian forest clear again. I trekked through to the forest beyond to see if the strangeness we're seeing on the coast is also happening inland. What I saw nearly froze my heart solid. The animals there, poor wretches, overtaken by some sort of parasite. As close as I can reckon, they're like farewell. So that's my recap at the moment. I'm struggling with the single target. The mobbing doesn't seem too bad. If there is an elite, yes. If there is the blues, eh, they don't die. They don't take too long to die. General mobbing, pretty decent. Map clearing, I think, is pretty fast. But damn it, uh, boss, horrible. And I don't quite know how to rectify that.
I don't know what I can replace the multi strike and viper strike for. Good fighting. I don't even know if there is an option because I don't have the option to get close. I don't. Oh shit, didn't we say we want to refund? Uh, wait, so what did you sound this? Um, opportunistic. So I want to get rid of ambush and assassinate. So I want to get rid of those two and I want to get opportunistic, correct? Ouch. That's okay. Damage from a critical strikes cannot be reflected. 25% more damage while there is. Don't take more than two. Let's try that. See that saves my ass a little bit. in the forest. Throwing a flicker strike onto what? Is flicker strike an attack skill or is flicker strike a support skill? Uh, an attack skill, okay? I'll grab a flicker strike quickly. Just wanna see if I can deal with this guy. Let's go, bigger. And I was doing so well. No, we'll just do this for now. 
Okay, let me just go over to the western forest and then we'll travel back to town and then see if we can grab Flicker Strike. There's something that I want to get here, right? Like, I can just run straight for the waypoint. And pretty soon we can start going into evasion maximum life. Nice. Uh, Lilith. Uh, Lilith. Lily. What is her name actually? No, fuck it. Uh, what is it we're looking for? We are looking for Flicker Strike. Mm, Flicker Strike. Teleports character to nearby monster and attacks with a melee weapon if no specific monster targeted. Once is picked a random grants above that increases movement speed for duration, the cooldown. This one's flicker strike. That one. Time and tide get I don't think I need to be doing that right now. Good, sir. I think you solved our problem. I'll have to test it on something, obviously, that's got a bit more depth to it, but I mean... Maestro? What the fuck would I do without you, bruh? That's a nice way to clear a gap very, very quickly as well. Uh, I keep forgetting. I don't have to go back to the Weaver's Cavern or anything on this map, right? I can just run straight for the exit. Okay, so that is looking decent. I really like that. The question is, what are we supporting skills are we running with that now? Because at the moment, I don't think I've got the right ones for it. I'll check now.
Yes. So currently I have got flicker strike and then I've got multi strike and then I've got void manipulation support. That means my flicker strike is doing 338. We're not going to level up the spare. We're just going to right click on that. Keep the spare locked for a little bit. Okay. So that seems to be pretty good. I'm not going to worry with this. I'm not going to focus on this mechanic. I just want to get on to the next thing. And to get the damage of that flicker strike up because this is doing well. Oh, actually, Marsha, I wanted to give your opinion. If you like the upgrades that I did to the channel, more so specifically on like the homepage, changing out the banner, I actually made my own banner. 
And then the about page, it's actually got the pictures that matches the medieval theme of the... Looks good. Thank you very much, man. Appreciate it. Always gonna be subtle improvements. That could actually be a nice build. I'm trying to think right now. Basically 20% attack with one key press. Yeah. I'm trying to literally sit here thinking here right now. I'm like, okay, um, how can I... How can I, while maintaining the build that I've currently got... Get more damage out of my Flicker Strike. Because currently my Flicker Strike is only doing 357. So... I need to figure out, one, how I can generate Frenzy a lot faster so that I can flicker around faster. And then secondly, how I can um, get more damage out of it so that I'm not fumbling around so much. Yeah, I fucked myself. I fucked myself for that one. I ended up pressing the wrong button. And I paid the price for it. Oh my god, I got far to run now. I keep forgetting I've got this so we can start going in today. Strike. I'm not getting massive increases in damage during that, but I'm guessing I just need to let it level and then have to find better support skills for it.
Okay, now that we got that, let's head back. Because I definitely need to figure out this one. So, more evasion, more life. Good fighting. And let's have a look. So, we want support. And let's have a look. So, void manipulation. So, flicker strike. frenzy charge is there a way that we can get frenzy to do skills besides the actual skill of frenzy hmm blood rage Dead tired. No worries at all, my man. Oh, you working tomorrow? Damn. No. Okay, well, that's a benefit. I thought you were working on Sunday, but that's good. At least you can get early night and then get some rest and then hit it again on Wednesday. There's a real possibility that I'm going to be using this um, talisman because 25% increased damage, 10% increased global physical damage, fire damage, cold damage, lightning damage, all of that. And the only reason why I'm saying that is because my Cobra Lash no longer has void manipulation on it, meaning it's not limiting me to only chaos damage. So that might be a big buff for me. And then I might potentially use it and replace uh, Void Manipulation on the Flicker Strike. Replace, because if I get rid of that, I'll get all the elemental damages from that as well. So if I take this off, if I put this on, they call Void Manipulation. 1,300. Yeah. Just doing that. So let's take off that. 1,100. 302. Put this back on. 1,300. 347. Okay, so there is an increase in damage with that. I just need to make up the difference for what I've lost now in resistances. Because I think my resistances at this point are kind of shit. So let's put away all my currencies. Close combat and multi strike. Okay. So I've already got multi-strike. Let's grab Good tidings to you. close combat. Mm. Where's close combat? Close combat support. Okay. Oh no. Oh, uh, what did I lose? What did I lose? What did I lose? Why can't I use these now? My intelligence shit. Why did my intelligence shit? What did I lose with my intelligence? Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I need to do some fixing. I need to drill that into my head. Remember to read the gems so you know why you're using them. I need to drill that into my head because I'll keep reading the modifiers, the stats, what they do, etc, etc. So my intelligence is 111. Can I put somewhere on enough so I can get to 121? I moved my crafting station. Can I touch this and then put intelligence on this? You know what? I think I'm gonna try this. Let's take this, move that there. Firstly, let's sell the shit I don't want. Welcome. That, 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 that. Viper strike I'm not gonna use. That I can sell. That I can sell. Okay. Except I'll that. sing of you. Keep using the old amulet. I just want to see what it does. 
That's why I haven't gotten rid of it out of my inventory. I just want to see if there is a massive benefit to it. Yes, I know it's going to save my shit. It's got lightning resistance, chaos resistance, and then gain. Oh, the frenzy. Yes, you're true. That's what's been saving my ass. Okay, okay, okay. You see, once again, coming down to reading the freaking amulet. Reading the stats on it. The frenzy charges is what's allowing me to do the flicker strike nicely. Okay. So that's not an issue. So let's put this back. Okay. Now, close combat. What does close combat actually do? Does close combat basically make it an automatic an automatic skill? Close combat. Support melee skills cannot support skills with great minions. Supported skills do 25% more damage 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 based on proximity. Grass close combat rush on hit. Combat rush lasts 2 seconds or until you use a travel skill. Combat rush grants 20% more attack speed. Ooh. Let's test it, let's test it, let's go to the southern forest. And let's fuck around a bit. I don't know why I've got sniper's mark because I'm not using a sniper's mark. The Brian King. His time has almost come. Then hope will be Okay, so let's see. What happens if I get close to an enemy? Okay, I'm confused. Why the hell is my flicker strike not working? Oh, that's why. Close combat can only be applied to axes and swords. So that's not going to be an option. Okay, so we need to find an alternative for it. I don't think I need to be doing that right now. Bummer. <laughs> yeah, I was like, wait, something's not is this thing not activating? Like what's going on here? So I don't want I don't want void manipulation. So I've got the flicker strike, we've got multi strike. What can we add to flicker strike that's potentially gonna do it quite a bit of damage? Slam shield charge. There was something that I saw here, and it more specifically spoke to Frenzy, but it wasn't Frenzy itself. I think it was Blood Rage. Based right now, was it Blood Rage? Character Frenzy charge. If it hits, Frenzy charges increases your attack speed. No, I don't want that. And it's a buff. Poacher's Mark. Cursed enemies have 100% chance to grant a frenzy charge when slain. Cursed enemies grant 15 life. Can only one mark at a time. Eh. No, phrase run. Ice bite. Ah, oh, charge when you trap. No. Cold snap, discharge. Nope. It's going to be difficult to figure out what can go on to this. So, get on with one green, two red. And put melee damage support on it. Two. Fuck, where is Heat Slam, Battle Mage, General Cry, Contract Path, Force Path, what? Ruthless, Ancestral Core, Battle to Melee, Melee Splash, no, Earthbreaker, Melee Physical Damage Support? Do we have Melee Physical Damage Support or are we looking for something else? Cast on Melee Kill Support, Fist of War, 
we had support trauma support i'm guessing magical mess blah 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 that one okay let's take this and let's Oh no, that's not going to work. Because this is mo mostly dex and int, so there's almost zero chance that I'm going to get a read on that. Okay, okay, okay. Um, Welcome. Do you have another claw for me? That's dex and intelligence. Dex and... There we go. That works. Ah, oh, that's still Dex and Int. That one is shite. Yeah, I was planning on doing like a whole bunch of upgrades to it. Mm, Dex and Intelligence. How am I gonna get a one green, two red? On a claw that is Dex and Intelligence focused. Or off colors, you bench cross. Yeah, well. Okay. So, back to my hideout. Don't want to know how expensive this is going to be. So, let's go craft. Let's put this in here. And we want color. Fuck it. Uh, two red, one green. Two red, one green. That's expensive. That's fucking expensive. God damn. God damn. It's okay, it's done already. It's done already. That's 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 all of that gone. I've got like twenty six left. Okay. Okay, now we need to firstly regal that shit. Oh, come on. Because we want to now. Okay, grounds 40 life. Cold damage, nope, increase critical strike chance. No, don't like that. Not for what we're doing right now. Grounds 40 life, increase physical damage, hold on. I need to start thinking of my resistances as well. Because I'm on 56, 52, 48. So if I can get a resistance on this as well, it would be nice. Nope. Dexterity, physical damage, lighting damage, maximum mana, increased light radius. Absolutely shite. Increased physical damage, strike multiplier, maximum mana, manager regeneration. And it's not horrible, but it's still poop. It's still poop. Fire is an open suffix. So this has got fire resistance, cold resistance, lightning resistance, accuracy rating, and 21% increased physical damage. I like the resistances that that comes with. That's already gone to 494, 1450. That's good. My resistances are 75, 72, 68. So that did a massive amount for my resistances. Quality is plus 17. 
do 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 okay now let's have a look is there anything else i can put on this i highly doubt it because oh i can put chaos damage on this it's only going to cost me four and then that is either 35 or 44 percent increased chaos damage now obviously that means that this claw is only going to be built for the current thing that we run i think it's chaos damage to the actual thing yeah actually i don't know i don't know if that chaos damage will bleed into everything else or if this is specifically for this claw meaning on this claw we're gonna want melee damage or something like that oh, that's not an option or do we want increase in physical damage okay. so increase damage on chaos let's craft that Okay, so that's 41% increase to chaos damage. So currently it's on 1,426. 1,592. Okay. So it did definitely affect the Cobra Lash as well. And it did increase the clicker strike damage as well. Okay, I think I'm going to stick with that for now. Just because my main clearing gem well is still being... I'll sing of you. Okay. However, I am going to take a quick short break. I will be back in about 10 minutes, 15 minutes at max. Um... If you are still here, Maestro, I'll see you when I get back. If not, then I hope you have a lovely evening further. Um, but yeah, I'll definitely be taking this further and seeing how I can grow it and make it better. You're off to bed. Well, have a lovely evening further, Maestro. Look after yourself and then hopefully I'll see you tomorrow, my man. Be safe.
Okay, I'm back. Sorry for the long delay there, everybody. Okay, so hopefully Flicker Strike at this point is going to be better. So that does 1,500, that does 522. Let's see how this goes. Just need a I think the flicker strike is better. I think at this point we just need to get it to level. I looking for something over there. Hold up. That felt very, very short. You have enough anger to feed the puppet mistress. Complete. Okay, search. Texts. Melee damage support. I think in time that thing's damage will become better. don't like the Aino side of this game. I keep making that mistake. I keep pressing G instead of F. and quick. That's actually not feeling horrible. That's actually feeling really, really good. I think we've got our clearing skill.
That was the wrong skill. I don't mean to use that, but it's okay. Uh, this is that stupid, stupid escorty. Escort the light. Going to the fucking hole. Oh my gosh. That's what she said, but cheese. Okay, we can finally get that. Maximum life evasion rating. Flicker strikes getting there. Done. Flip the switch. Activate the beacon. There we go. Now I can speak to this guy. And take me to the big island. Don't even know what act I mean. Act six. That's all the water dead end. I want me to be built.
someone's going to want this build. Oh, fuck. I do not think I've got the... You see, this is where my biggest fall is going to be. My clearing speed and my clearing damage, not bad. You're about to witness where my biggest shortfall so is. Strong. So dedicated. A man like you would never disappoint a lady in need. You're a gift, don't you see? A sumptuous feast for his majesty on his wedding day. Really. We are both so touched by your generosity. Okay, big ass crap about to stand up. I am weak as fuck, so I cannot be caught in one of these. Just need a moment to watch my It's not looking horrible so far. Good on that, good on that. Stay away from the lightning, stay away from the water. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Very nice. I did not expect that fight to go that well. It took longer than I would have wanted it to take, but it still went very, very well. Born of ocean's mire, and death washed clean of dark desire. Nothing here that I want. Glove, shield, shield, gauntlets, buckler, more. Bring my old jacket. Nope. And thus. Ah, uh, you cannot be stunned when you're still being blocked for the past two seconds. Nope. I can just take that. Okay. Take me back. I think this takes me into Act 7 now. Judging but remember. What I do? Speaking of I don't think I need to be doing that right now. Ah, the river. Keep your wits about you. Thank the god. I believe another time. Goodbye. Turn your back. I'm afraid. Uh, let's put away the currency that I have made so far. I spent a big amount of trying to get this freaking claw basically got rid of all my chromatic orbs for that so I need to start building up on those numbers again I don't but I think, think before I we do be that, that I'm gonna run back quickly go back to act 6 and see if there's anything I can claim Nothing from him, nothing from her, nothing from them. Defeat the puppet mistress. I don't know where the puppet mistress is. It's probably up that way. I think that's where I need to be. Yeah, this is where I wasn't before.
castle, gather it over a grid. Increase that, that's up to 600. There's going to be constant increases in the flicker strike. Sage boots. Wait, what are the other boots that I picked up? What is this? Evasion rating. Ooh. Movement speed. Attack speed, evasion rating, 15% increase rate of is fire resistance and movement speed. 28% movement speed. Okay, so that's going to make me move faster. Cannot be stunned by suppressed spell damage and 114 increased evasion rating. That is potentially something we have to have a look at. However, I'm going to have to determine how I'm going to make up the fire resistance gap that I'm going to lose if I use that. Farewell. I don't think I need to be doing that right now. Another day. Take that with a smile. So that is more evasion rating and maximum life. Charisma, I think, is the next one we want to go for. Let's first grab that. More life, please. Greetings. So, so, so. Mm. Hold up. Farewell. Okay, now I can do that, and I can do that. Okay, so now it's the same as that one. If we increase the quality, so evasion rating is three or six. Plus 28%, 114%. Okay, so my defense is... Currently, I'm in armor. Mm, fire has become shit. That means I'm going to be even faster. I've got increased evasion rating. Evasion rating is 931. That's not bad. And now we just take this, grab this down, move it down, armor. That's maxed out. Okay, fire resistance we need to go sort out. Let's go to the hideout. And... Shit, am I going to throw fire? Can't put fire there. Can't put fire there. Mm, can't put fire there. Can't put it there. Can't put it there. I know for a fact I can't put it here. Because it's already got fire resistance. I'm not going to be able to put it on my helmet. And I highly doubt that's going to be... Hey, fire resistance. Nice. 
Uh, 30% fire request and level 15 craft fire resistance. Nice. That means defense wise, I'm 75, 72, 68. I need lightning fire resistance. I've got chaos damage on that. Okay, so I'm going to be short on lightning for a bit. That is okay. I can live with that. Okay, let's go back to Act 7. Let's go back to the bridge encampment. And let's keep moving. I don't think I need to be doing that right now. sell that simply for the fact that it has got it's a chromatic so This is chromatic that. Really, that's it for Jula Orbs. Uh, evasion rating at the moment is 1038. Splits into three. Good. Somewhere there's supposed to be a waypoint. Rain of Chaos, one of eight. That's for Chaos Orbs. Go to the Falshan room first. Should be something for me to do over there.
You never know when a unique's gonna come in handy. Look at what I ended up finding and what I'm currently using on this build. I know people say just get rid of them. I hoard them. Especially if you've got the extra space. about the ascendancy trial because we've already got that completed i'm just worried about continuing down this way take that that is free currency that is free fucking currency so you go there you go there i will be taking you there you can fuck off you can go over there move down move down move down you get lost uh, you can go there there we go no, I can get rid of this and I can get rid of this because I want that. I can maybe still take the boots. But that is decent currency. Those are all six sockets. None of them are six links, which sucks, but there are six sockets. I don't think I need to be doing that. I imagine it. Journey well. Me luck it! <laughs> Always keep your eyes on the horizon. sell this no I'm not selling those boots see that is worth it 35 Jula orbs
that is actually not bad. No, I need to get rid of that. I need to hold on to that. Hello. I burned through my chromatic orb, so that's going to be a problem for sure. Especially if I'm planning on resocketing any of these, especially with how expensive it can be. This can be really expensive. Okay, we're not going to worry about that for now. That frenzy, it's just, it's just too good. What's currently doing for my flicker strike, it's, I can't give it up. So for now, we're just going to go back to the crossroads and then go north and then go west. Don't you dare. You know what? Not following a build guard. I'm actually quite impressed with how this build has been going. I can honestly with 100% say that this build is 100% my own. I don't know how close it resembles other builds that exist, but I haven't referenced a single build guide doing this, so... Excited to see if this can make it past the axe. Currently we are in Act 7. Can make it past the 10th Act. Awesome. I know Kitova I'm going to struggle with. That's the final boss fight. I know I'm going to struggle there, so I need to try and figure out what I can do to mitigate that damage between now and then. I need those. I need those really badly. Okay, we finally finished off that. Okay, I think it's finally time that we move our way over to Charisma. Grab Charisma and then grab the last bit of invasion. I think before that we need to go down there and collect those chromatic orbs specifically because i had to spend a hundred of those fucking things to get this cloak fusings always work it's good currency especially if we're going to start thinking about relinking yeah, six sockets can take up to a thousand five hundred of those orbs of fusing My biggest concerns is how the damage is going to start falling off later on. It's holding itself at the moment. My clear speed is good. My single target damage sucks though. So I'm hoping by the time we get to Kutavo, we get to some of the harder fights. That my flicker strike has leveled enough and I've got enough support on it.
entrance looked fine. Hello to you. We have woven. Thank you. Map device, I'm not worried about because the map device I've already got access to. I can only go to those sections later on. So for now, I've got to go back to the crossroads. And I need to go south. On the current map it's south, but it's technically west. Oh, you can piss off. I'm not paying attention. I need to go south. The path is closed, what the hell? Uh, trying to think what's going to be the best now. I've got Malagor's map already, so why why am I here? Making stupid mistakes. I should be in the Chamber of Sins. Uh, Chamber of Sins. Um, and then I can put this in, run that, activate. I thought I still had to find it. Okay, so this area is going to be a good test to see what my resistances are looking like. Single target, our target is not bad, but my frenzy charge is running out too quickly. See if there is potentially a skill or a gem that I can use to get frenzy. This is the short little path that I missed last time. Thinking back on builds that I've run and made it through the act with. Summon Raging Spirit was boring. Definitely a lot more tankier than what this is. So if I had to rank the two, I'd say this is more fun. Summer Raging Spirit is a lot safer. You don't have to be in everything's face like you are in this one. Tornado Shot, you're absolutely glass cannon, but you kill everything off the screen, so... That's not really something to worry about. And I mean, with the Tornado Shot build that I've got, it's T16 maps relatively easy. Bossing, however, is a different story. I don't really boss with it. It's not what I've built it for. I've built mine for with Delirium, Legion, and Harvest. And that is just so I can potentially get resources I need to craft gear and then sell that. That's the goal, at least. That hurt. That hurt quite a lot. Oh, 
on that. Back to this guy. That's gonna get me very killed. No, don't so. That's gonna get me very killed. Oh, my God, I need to run far now. Shit, okay, that's a far run. That was a stupid mistake. And I was telling myself I knew I needed to tell a uh, portal home. Restock on everything and then come back. I knew it. Hindsight. Hindsight is always a fuck up. Okay, but I'm full now, so let's go back inside here. Yeah. How's this person looking? too bad. That was not too bad. Our brutal construction. That single target damage is still sucking. Badly. But I've got the black venom now. Okay, so my despair is on 11 and my hex bloom. Why is my hex bloom over here? Hex bloom was never supposed to be there. So despair is on 11. And Bane is on 13. I can start leveling that one again. I've now got the gap so that it doesn't become obsolete whenever I look around. Obsidian key. Now, I think it's opposite. Now we can actually go down the stairs. Yes, we can. I'm trying to kill him. It's not important. I can just keep moving on. Set the kill. I will take those. They sell for quite a bit. Nothing worth it. Just the hideout. I don't want the hideout.
kill everything before it even gets to the screen. And then on to the den. This build has already exceeded the first expectation. I thought this build was going to drop off and die by Act 5. It hasn't. Mission complete. Goodbye, this has gone halfway through Act 7. I think I should go through Act 7, no problem. Just need a moment to to yeah, you'll die quick enough, it won't be a concern. Flask now. Have a flask is not a, worth it for me. I don't really want to move right now because if I move. Yeah, he's going to be dead. I'm not going to have to worry about him. can feel the damage is starting to drop off and not dying as quickly while well, at least this, the bigger creatures aren't. I'm gonna have to see what I can do about that. My damage at the moment is at 2000, that's not great. I know that the tooltip at the bottom is not a true representation of how much damage you're doing. But it gives me a nice basis to work off of. Okay, this is a boss fight. Uh, I need to see what I can do with this point. Increased area of effect of aura skills. That's not going to help me at all right now. Oh, fuck. Okay. Fight started. Single target damage is lacking again. It's gonna get me very dead. Yep, there we go. I thought so. That was my own fault for standing still as well. Making stupid mistakes. Okay. Single target damage. I've got a problem with that. I need to remedy that as soon as I can. Because right now, it's getting me killed. It's getting me very killed. gonna have to do it move my way up to Chris charismatic charisma charismatic what the fuck what are you trying? 
Uh, what did this do? You cannot be stunned if you are stunned or blocked. No. Life flasks gain three charges every three seconds if you haven't used a life flask recently. Reduction of critical over time while moving, moving or bleeding doesn't. I need that. No. Fuck, I can't have both of them. I'd rather have that. Survivability right now is my biggest issue. I'm pretty, gonna, pretty soon gonna have to switch over to a cripple because I can feel the damage on this falling off. Mm, I'm gonna run into problems pretty, pretty soon. Do I wanna do this? I suppose I kind of have to, and I think there's seven fireflies that I need to get. Ah, oh, the second phase bullshit. You're not a Dark Souls boss, stop trying to be one. times that I keep pressing that. I don't know how many I've picked up. Yeah, despair. Your big ugly ass. Moving yet again, single target damage is horrible. That shit that he got me very killed. That stuff. Why? 
Oh, it makes it unnecessarily difficult. Okay, how many do I have? Two, four, six. I am missing one. What did I get? It's about damage reduction for each hit you've taken, using up to a maximum of 5%. Ah. Okay, so I've still got one. Okay, so it's clearly not there. I've still got one Firefly that I need to get. Now, the question is, was it left? Was it right? It was right. Nice. Deliver the fireflies. Thank you. Can I get out of here now? while I'm here, go back to town, speak to Helena, I'll take that, I'll take that, and I'll take that, okay, so I finally got charisma, nice, speak to you, and then Helena, you, I'll just take that, I thank you, there's an egg, and I'll take that as well. Journey well. Uh, you know, you can take that, that, and that. Goodbye. Now we can just go back to the exact spot that we were at because we got the thing that she needs. I'm gonna die because I'm stuck. Are we done? Okay, so next time I go back, I just need to chat to her and I'll get a reward. Thousand four hundred and sixty, so it's less than I currently got, but I don't need it it's for minions. It's absolutely useless for me. Onto the causeway. I use basically all of my flask to try and uh, heal the damage that those things were doing. Still maxed out. We still need to go there.
making stupid, stupid, stupid mistakes. I can definitely feel this build is starting to fall off, and I'm not quite sure how I'm going to address it. And that's because, like an absolute fucking retard, I am standing dead still. <sighs> and the worst thing is I actually killed it. I actually killed the elite, but no. I have to be smart and stand perfectly dead still and die to the things that are left behind. Group like that gets hold of you without you knowing about it, your shits. Your shit is cooked pretty quickly. I'll take those, take that, I'll take a foil. I need to know what the hell that thing does because that could potentially be good. Critical damage leaks this life. Gain 5 life per enemy kill adds 9 to 15 days. 26 to 84. 17 to 46, 26 to 84. The baseline is worse. Thirty to 79, 27 to 87. Life leeching would be nice. The five life per enemy kill is good. How else can we modify that? I don't know if we can. This is one of the areas that I hate the most. I'm glad you found this nice and early. I can give her the fireflies. She's going to do her transformation thingy and then I should be good. And let's quickly go back to town. Helena will have a reward for us. Something that I don't actually want. I'm just going to grab strength and dexterity. So, so, so. Except, what is this? Orb of Alteration. Keep your life to your Thank own. Thank you. Uh, it's, oh, fuck. It's not the ones I thought it was. It's these ones. Let's just pack this away then. No. Wrong place. Wrong place. That's where they go. Right there. Kira Star. Do I even want to know? I can't remember, it's the Ball City. And it leads into the Temple of Decay, and I cannot remember what the last boss fight was of this area.
got dropped. I will take that. Thank you very much. That's a five link. Not a five socket. That's a five link. Those are all actually linked. That is very nice. And if we do that, we should get a decent amount of currency for that. It's a good day. Cruising, Wexton. A unique, always take unique. that unique but I kind of fucked up the button so I need to go back and fetch it they shoot down from that shoot maybe kind of I don't know ailments from critical strike I'm not using critical strike right now I'm gonna go start going up into evasion rating I also need to start thinking about damage because my damage is starting to fall off. That was stupid. So it looks like I was going the wrong way. I just died because I'm an idiot. I'm gonna do it again. I did the exact same thing. The exact same thing. I ran straight into the center of the pack. There is something seriously wrong with me if I'm going to keep doing that shit. See? Look how much easier that was. Deal with it from a distance, everything died. No, run at base first. Just need a 
attention, pay attention, pay attention. I am... I'm in a rush. I'm making stupid mistakes. I'm trying to speed through certain areas and the damage of this build has fallen off. I think I've tried focusing too much on trying to get the survivability up and I have sacrificed the damage. I'm convinced that's the issue I'm making right now. All the build just sucks. There's that reality as well. That shit, that's gonna get me very dead. I'm not even gonna bother with that. Just onto the next area. That was bullshit. That got up his chest. Dizzle, sorry. Not chest. Foundation is not bad, it's the, it's the implementing of it that's becoming a problem. If this is the boss that I think it is, I'm not ready for this. Clearing isn't bad if I'm not doing making stupid mistakes. The problem is I am a stupid mistake. I'm the walking embodiment of a stupid mistake. So I can just whip. Oh I'm nervous. I'm worried. Because I know this is gonna be a bitch. I'm going with five. I'm gonna die five times in this fight. Okay, I did that. Now we can go back. Now my half and everything is full again. Okay, crunchy. Come on. 
Wait, 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 wait. There's my first death. Yes, that was three dead so far. Ow, ow. There it is. Okay, so that's four deaths. Let's see if I was accurate with a five. A single target damage on this. Absolutely. There we go. I was actually correct. Five deaths. Five deaths is what it took. To deal with this thing and i fucking hate it i hate how bad it is it did so well don't take like a long damage over time that would be really nice to have thank you sorry ramparts oh where's this where's this where's this where's this okay let's just get to the freaking town Time with leads. I'm just going to run. Just need a moment to catch my breath. Up to the stairs, up to the top of the stairs. time too strong this might be the point where i need to get rid of this um projectile support i think i'm losing too much damage i think i'm losing way too much damage encampment okay no you horrible human being there we go go back inside yeah thank you good to see you Calacota. good to see you sell 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 no sell don't sell actually yes sell uh, get rid of you as well don't do anything i would Okay. Dirge dust, remember humanity. Ladies and gentlemen, I think that is where I am going to leave it for the night. Getting a little bit irritated, and I've got a lot of thinking to do as to how we are going to potentially make this build viable again. And I think one of the worst problems we've got right now is this. A greater multiple projectile support. Yes, it gives me four additional projectiles, which bounces nicely and clears the map. Problem with that is at 30% less projectile damage. So currently, as you can see, we're doing 1573.1 DPS on the Cobra Lash. 
roughly. I know the measurement is not accurate, but it gives us a baseline to work off of. So 1573.1 deep here. The moment I remove greater multi uh, multiple projectile support, that damage increases to 2245. So that is close to half. That's yeah, a little bit less than half, a little less than double. That's a little bit less than double damage that we end up losing. And we could put something like fork on because fork is only a 10% um, induction in damage. And the problem is it doesn't have so many projectiles that it splits into a stay single. And then when it hits a target, it splits into two and so on and so forth. So it could potentially be a substitute, but it's going to be a little bit difficult trying to balance the um, damage with the multiple projectile support. I'm hoping and praying that I don't have to go down to singular because I will not have the clear speed. While I might gain a little bit of damage, I will not have the clear speed. It's going to take me forever to do any kind of section or act. So I'm going to have to think how I can circumnavigate that. And then we've also got the issue of the flicker strike. The flicker strike is working well. Frenzy charges I'm gaining quite nicely as a result of the amulet at uh, Victorio's equity which gives me 10% chance to gain a frenzy charge on kill, 10% chance to gain a power charge on kill, and a 5% increased projectile speed per frenzy charge. That frenzy is going to work very, very well with the fact that on my flicker strike, we have got, yeah, well, flicker strike, um, bases itself off of a duration of frenzy charges. So, there's work to do. There's definitely a lot of work to do. I want to have a look at the claw that I picked up, see if I can't do something with that to make it a bit better than what I've currently got, but I highly, highly doubt it. So I think that's where I'm going to leave it for this evening. We've been going for just over 3 hours and 15 minutes. I think that's a good stream for the evening. We've made quite a bit of progress. There's been some hiccups, there's been some headaches, and I don't even want to count how many times I've died. If someone wants to do it, by all means, let me know. But I'm going to cry probably if I hear the amount. And this is exactly why I wanted to do this. I wanted to take this and see if I could take something that is not meta, like Cobra Lash, and turn it into something that is viable, that is not a build that already exists. This could be one for one a build that exists, I just don't know that. I'm not referencing any build, I'm going purely based on the knowledge that I do have, and along with the skill and support of individuals in the chat. However, I feel like this is not meta for a reason. And that is something I'm going to have to see. I think this is going to fall off, and I think it's falling off relatively quickly. I mean, we've made it to Act 8, so that's not bad. But I do know that Kitava, if we make it through to Act 10, that final boss, Kitava, is going to be an absolute, absolute onslaught and nightmare, especially if we can't get that single target damage up, because the um, Cobra Lash is just... It's just not doing it. It's good for my clearing, but that's it. Does almost nothing against bosses. So there's a, as you can imagine, there's a lot to think about. There's a lot that we need to plan for. So time to climb into that. But that's it for me for the evening. I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Everybody's welcome. And please, if you are here, say hello. Let me know you're in the chat. It really would mean a lot to me. And if you can, help spread the word. Share it on your social media platforms. If you see me live, share it with friends, share it with family. Any kind of support would be greatly appreciated. And once again, I want to say thank you for helping me reach the first goal, which was 10 followers. You guys are absolute legends for helping me get that. Now, without further ado, I hope you have a lovely evening and or day, depending on where you are. Look after yourselves, be safe, and goodbye. Cheers.